Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys talk about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. First myth of today's episode is... Here's a myth. One, kill the kitten. Two, cry. A lot of people are about to be crying in a second because there is no possible way that you can kill this kitten. I think Yandere Dev just added the kitten just for a laugh, like an easter egg, just so people could be like, Oh, there's a kitten here. What can we do about it? You can't do jack shit. Because I remember him saying, Hey, it's not really practical to hide the kitten over the body so you can't discover it. And look, you can't kill the kitten with the knife. Look at this. Come over here, you little fucker. I can't slice him up. There is no option to kill the kitten with the knife. You can't even go to class and try to raise up your stats because it's not going to do a thing either. See, my physical education is up. You can't go to the turtle and ask him for super sanity animation powers to kill the kitten either, but we're just gonna try it out so people know that nothing is gonna work for this kitten. See? Sanity animations are enabled, but you still can't slice this cute little fucker. You can't douse it in gasoline. You can't light it on fire with matches. You can throw matches at the kitten, but you can't do anything involving sending it on fire. Wait, it's hitting the wall. A lot of people might be like, Jay, you threw it at the wall. That's why it wasn't lit on fire, Jay. No, watch this. Check this out. Check this shit out. Okay, still hit the wall. Motherfucking match. Okay, right here, right here. Direct hit, baby. Oh, my God. Stop throwing at the wall, Yanchan. He's supposed to have the Kobe skills. There you go. Okay, it hit the top of the cat's head, but it didn't set it on fire, so you can't set it on fire either. You can't ask fuckboy Budo to give you martial arts skills that pay the bills and then karate chop the fuck out of this kitten. You can't take the ritual knife kill Misumi-chan with it, and then use the sacrificial blood that's on the knife to somehow kill the kitten. You can't even touch the kitten while you're sweeping with a freaking mop. There is no way to kill this kitten. It is invincible. I know a lot of people are gonna say, but if you do this and then you do that, maybe you can kill the kitten. No, you can't kill the kitten. Yandere Deb just put it there to be adorable, to tease people who probably wanted to kill the kitten, but this is officially debunked. There is no way you can kill this kitten. On to the next one. Is there any way to kill Midori, pick up her body, summon her again, and show her own corpse to her? Oh my god, that would be so freaking cool. That's corpseception right there. So let's summon Midori. Actually, let's enable sanity animations. Then let's summon Midori. Alright, Midori, time to meet my knifeu! Blah! Okay, so we're gonna pick up her body. And yes, there we go. Okay, summon victim. Oh, what? Wait! Oh my god, this can't be happening! Yes! I look like a zombie! Uh, Midori, come to me. I wonder if anybody else will be triggered by me looking like this while I have Midori in my hands. Uh, I'm a zombie. <laughs> oh man, this looks cool as shit. Okay, if I run, will I drop the body? No! Yes! It looks like I'm like... Fool from eating like at a all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue place. Okay, let's see if the teachers notice. Yes, they did. Done? What have you done? Oh shit, I've done the unthinkable, so baby. <laughs> oh god, I've done the unthinkable, baby. Let's go. Oh shit, the teacher's coming after me. But yes, this is true. If you kill Midori, summon her again and show her own corpse to her, she'll freak the fuck out. And you'll look cool as hell in the process. And the teacher will get you. But fuck it. This is true and awesome as hell. On to the next one. If you trank Midori, put her in the box, then summon her again, will she be in the basement the next day? Alright, so we have Midori right here. Hurry up and put on your what are those. And let me talk to you. Excuse me. Can you follow me, please? And we got some things to do. Oh, and a lot of people have been telling me, Hey, Jay, did you know that the nurse is a rival? And I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. She's a rival. Gonna have to end her motherfucking life. Ooh, she tries to fuck with our senpai. But don't worry, guys. Even if she's still a rival, she still has a special place in my heart. So we'll be okay. Anyway, back to the task at hand. Hurry up, Midori. There you go. Let's close the door and trank this green-haired ho. Oh! There we go. Now, let's grab her by the foot and put her in here. There you guys go. She is now in the box. This is not a magic trick. We are about to summon her again with the turtle. And boom. There she is. I was secretly hoping that she would be like in the fetal position. But she is now walking away. Let's see if she is going to be in the basement the next day. 
or if even the words on the screen pop up that we go back to the school to get our little instruments. Yes! Yanari-chan returns to the instrument case that carries her unconscious victim! There we go. Alright, so let's go see Midori down in the basement and see if this is true or if we're gonna have to debunk this bad boy. There she is! And she has gray hair and a weird looking uniform. It's like the navy blue uniform that we have, but it's a little bit white. It's like a mishmash of the original uniform and the navy uniform. That is weird as hell. Okay, let's lower her sanity. There we go. Alright, so there you guys go. If you trank Midori, put her in the box, summon her again, she will be in the basement the next day. But the reason why I lowered her sanity is because the next myth ties into the Mind Slave Midori myth, and here's how it goes. 1. Turn Midori into a Mind Slave. 2. Have her kill Kokona without anyone around. Example, when she's in the bathroom. 3. Have the turtle summon Midori again. 4. Will the police arrest Midori without any weapon evidence or witnesses? Alright, so we have Midori. She's still all grayed out. Her uniform still looks all fucked up, but she has zero sanity. So let's bring her to school and see what happens. Alright, let's see if baby girl is... Yup! She still has her green hair. She's just chilling by the bush, just doing her thing. Let me shadow the panties. It is Wednesday, what a kawinky dink. So Kakona is gonna be taking that hot Taco Bell shit. So we are just gonna fast forward and we're gonna wait till everything goes so we can get our plan started. All right, here we go. Kakona's tummy is rumbling. She is gonna head to the bathroom. Now it's go time. I want everybody in the comment section to predict what you guys think will happen. Will Midori get arrested for killing Kakona? Or will she get away with it? Because the power of the turtle can forgive you for all your sins, all your murderous actions. And, you know, if you guys think that Midori is going to get away with it, comment ye. If you think she's not going to get away with it, comment no. Like, and you, 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 you. Like, no. <laughs> Alright, she's in the bathroom. Where the fuck is Midori? Midori? What the hell? Why are you still over there? Hurry the fuck up! Oh my god, she is slow as hell. Kakona's gonna go back to the freaking thing already, right? Is she there? Nope. Where is she? Oh, fuck. Nope, nope. Hey, stop it. Stop it, Kakona. Hey, hey, stop it. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna see what happens when Midori kills her in front of everybody. Then I'm gonna ask the turtle to forgive their sins. So fuck this. Go ahead. Go back to your group. Go do your thing. Go gossip, whatever you guys are doing. Midori's coming. Her hair is all frizzy like she just got electrocuted. But you're about to get the fuck stabbed out of you. I'm so sorry, Kakoni. There you go. Oh, yeah. Damn. She is getting that ass tore up. And it's cool not seeing Saki be the mind slave for once. It's pretty cool seeing Midori going ham. <laughs> anyway, before Midori kills herself, let's go and let's summon Midori again. Boom. There you go. She's walking around. And now, we're gonna see what the other students are doing and what Kakona's doing. So, Kakona is still dead. All the other students, they're like looking around, they're like, this shit's crazy. What the hell was that noise? You guys heard that? I think that was like the blood splattering noise. And look at this evil girl. She's like, yes, kill! But yeah, anyway, we summon Midori. There is nobody here, no weapon evidence. Let's see what the police say about all of this. School day has ended. While walking around the school, a teacher discovers a corpse. The teacher immediately calls the police. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Kokona Haruka. The police discover a screwdriver that is stained with the blood of Kokona Haruka. What? The police find fingerprints of Midori Gurren on the weapon. No. What? Oh, that is so lame. Let me try that again. Let me see what happens as soon as Midori stabs Kokona. I am going to teleport and ask the turtle to summon Midori again. Let's see if she can get away with it then. Alright, I'm trying this again. This time I gave Midori the weapon a little bit earlier. I don't think it matters if there are witnesses that see Midori going ham on Kokona. I think what matters is if I summon Midori very quickly. So, she's going to kill her right there. Okay, stabbing the fuck out of her. Now, let's ask the turtle. Come on, summon. And there we go. So let's see what happens. Is she still getting killed? All right, there. She's over there. You guys can see that. I'm going to end the day, and let's see what happens. The school day has ended. While walking around the school, a teacher discovers a corpse. The teacher immediately calls the police. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Kokona Haruka. 
The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. There you go. The police question Andari Chan but cannot link her to any crimes. Yup. There we go. It depends on how fast you can go to the light music club, ask the turtle to summon Midori again, and then you can get away with murder. Or you can get Midori away from murder. Let me correct myself, because she's the one who killed Kakona. So, if you take too long and then Midori sacrifices herself, then they'll find the screwdriver. But if you do it as soon as she's stabbing Kakona and then summon her again, she will get away from the police, but Kakona will still die. Hopefully that answers your question. On to the next one. Can you drown a burning Kakona? Okay, if you guys don't know how to get Kakona over to the fountain, I'm going to show you guys right now because it's been a damn long time that I did that myself and I almost forgot how. But we are going to figure it out right now. Let me put shadows over the panties again because I just saw slight white panties over there. What you have to do, you have to listen to Saki and Kakona talk on the roof, talk all that bullshit, okay? And then once you learn that topic, you can write a note for Kakona to meet you about domestic abuse anywhere you want to go. So you can go to the roof. I can't say anywhere, but on the roof or towards the fountain, that's when you can do it. So let's learn the conversation piece that they start talking about. Then we can write the note. See, here you guys go. They're talking that bullshit. I learned new info. So I'm going to teleport. And then I am going to leave a note. I'm going to actually wait. She doesn't go to the locker room, huh? So I'm going to end the day so I learn that new information. Then I'm going to go back to school on Tuesday, and we're going to get this shit started. All right, here we go. It's going up on a Tuesday. What we're going to do, what do you ask Infochan. She's going to give us the box of what matches. There we go. Hey, Senpai, What's I got things to do, her? man. I got things to do. I don't got time for that bullshit. We're going to leave a note. I want to speak to you about domestic abuse. Please meet me at the fountain at 7.30 a.m. Seems pretty good. And ba-blam. There we go. So she's going to see this note. Hurry the hell up, Kakona. There you go. Wait, did she not see the note? Huh? Oh, there you go. What's she this? opened it, got her shoes, reopened it, saw the notes. Efficient, Kakona. Very efficient. Maybe I should meet them. Yeah, maybe you should. Maybe you should. All right. She stuck it in her back skirt pocket, even though she doesn't have a skirt pocket. So let's get all the stuff ready and meet her there. Here we go, guys. The moment of truth. As you guys can see, there's a drown option. What we are going to do, we are going to splash this. And it's so cool that I don't have what to censor that. Is this? So freaking awesome. It smells okay. Like and then gasoline? throw the match. Kakoni fried chicken. And let's see. Can we drown her? Nope. We can only talk to her. Whoa. What? What the fuck? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that is so freaking cool. What in the world? Wow, you can drown a burning Kakona. What the fuck? And then look at this. Look at this, guys. That is so freaky. No, it can't be. What? That's awesome. Okay, so it is confirmed. You can drown a burning Kakona, and then the teacher semi teabags her, or she looks at that ass. Kind of perverted, don't you think? Anyway, that was awesome as fuck and also true. Thank you for asking that. On to the last myth of today's episode. If you turn on Easter eggs, will Midori summon back as the Easter egg or her normal self? Okay, so for this one, we are going to do the most noticeable one, which is Titan Mode. There we go. And Midori is one of these guys. You know that Midori's a Titan. We know. But let's just go to the roof. And Midori is... There she is. Okay. She's texting on her phone, which is Giant 2. Okay, she's going to send those giant emails to Yandere Dev. So we're going to go to the Light Music Room. Ask the turtle to summon Midori, and yup, she is summoned back as a Titan Midori. So let's summon Midori again. This time I'm gonna go over here, and then she should be walking around on the other side. So where is she? She is... Where is she? What? I summoned her again? Where the fuck did she go? Oh, there she is. Okay, so we're gonna go over to here. There you go. And I know I have a different hairstyle. I accidentally pressed something different. There she is. So this Easter egg works. She is a titan and there's Kakona spinning in circles. So let's try a different Easter egg and see if the same thing applies there. All right, this time let's try DK mode. We have big heads and long arms. We are going to go over. We're going to summon a Midori. I like this music. <laughs> it's pretty damn cool. And actually, wait, I enabled sanity. There you go. She has a big head and long arms. We're gonna end her motherfucking life with the katana. 
Ah! And she actually goes back to normal if you kill her. Let me summon her again. There you go. Big head, long arms, and... Ah! And yeah, once you kill her, she goes back to normal. Let me try the baseball bat. Hi, Mandari! Ah! Ah! Shit! Okay, yeah. Once you kill her in the Easter egg, she goes back to normal. But anyway, I hope that answers your question. And that's also going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, challenges, or myths you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below. And I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!